Good day, I'm Jacques Vermeulen and today we're going to discuss anxiety disorders and with special reference to myths and facts about anxiety. If a panic attack, myth number one, if a panic attack gets too bad, you're going to pass out from this panic attack. This is clearly a myth. Um, the fact is that it's very unlikely that you will faint during a panic attack. Um, in order to faint, your blood pressure needs to drop. And during a panic attack, your blood pressure actually rises, which makes the possibility of you fainting because of your panic attack rather slim. The second myth is that a lot of people have is that if you have a panic disorder, it's important to avoid any stressful situation that may make you feel stressed. And this is also a very big myth. The fact is that if you treat yourself as if you're fragile or avoiding any risk situations or trying to create an environment where nobody must stress you out actually reinforces the idea that there's something wrong with you and that you're going to have a panic attack. So therefore it's important not to avoid stressful situations but to actually face it. It's also an integral part of the treatment of panic attacks and anxiety disorders. Myth number three, always carry a paper bag in case you hyperventilate. As with myth number two, this is not a very good idea, as you may start to depend on your paper bag as a safety crutch and therefore reinforcing that you may get in a panic attack or may get anxious, which could then result in you actually having an anxiety attack or a panic attack. Myth number four, the causes of anxiety disorders are usually rooted in childhood. So effective therapy must focus on that time period. This is clearly a myth. Research shows that effective treatment focuses on the here and now, including new skills to manage thoughts, emotions, discomforts and behaviour. We don't need to go back to the womb to try and sort out our anxieties or, or panic attacks. The next myth is that medications for anxiety are addictive. So they should be taken only if absolutely necessary. And that is also a myth. The fact is, if I'm on my regular medication, properly prescribed, and I'm in a treatment regime with a therapist, um, the treatment of my anxiety and my, my panic attack will be far better than to again sit and worry, like with a paper bag. When will there be a problem? Must I take my medication now? Is it now bad enough? Therefore reinforcing the anxiety and the idea that my anxiety is so bad that it cannot be treated. Another popular myth is that medication is the only treatment for an anxiety disorder. The fact is medication can be effective, but scientific research shows that cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT may be just as just or more effective than medication. So therefore a combination of therapy and medication that combination is very, very important in the treatment of anxiety. Uh, medications such as SSRIs, uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or antidepressants, they're not addictive, and um, they help to reset this whole pattern, chemical pattern in my body. Another myth we are often confronted with is that some people are, ju are just worry wards or they're more prone to um, anxiety and neurotic behavior and that is simply not the case. The fact is that therapy can help reduce your worry and your suffering and you can learn in a different relationship but to have a different relationship with your thoughts and, and with your feelings and with your um, environment regardless of your temperament or how long these neurotic habits or an anxious habits that you have have been in your life. This is Jacques Vermeulen signing out for McLaughlin Vermeulen and Associates. Please remember to visit our website, have a look at our other posts that we've blogged on, our newsletters, our other video recordings, and also to read a little bit more about anxiety and depression that we are dealing with during June and July. Um, our website is at www.valpsychologists.co.za or you can phone us at 016-97-11339. Thank you and have a nice day.